The Ahmadiyya Muslim community has long been an advocate of peace, tolerance and compassion. Following the recent attack on London Bridge, which saw seven lives lost and 48 injured, over 1,000 people gathered at City Hall to honour the victims of the attack in a vigil led by the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan. People of all faiths and none gathered in Potter's Field Park outside City Hall to honour the victims. Members of the public took part in a minute-long silence in remembrance of the victims. Members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community UK attended the vigil in large numbers to show the solidarity for those affected by the incident. Various members of the public interacted with members of the community who attended with shirts marked, I am a Muslim, ask me anything, to dispel misconceptions of Islam. Various national media outlets were present to cover the event. Various members of the public expressed their solidarities. Well, I mean, it's great today we've all come together. Uh, people of all shapes and sizes, all faiths, all creeds and colours. So it's a really uh, very powerful message from uh, Sadiq Khan, really. He stood it, tell it how it is, right? You know, these, uh, these Muslims are doing acts not in our name. And I think that was a very positive message um, that we heard today. And the whole crowd here really was very supportive of that. One is, thing is for the Muslims themselves. They need to go back and uh, be more transparent in their approach. They should invite their neighbours, they should invite those that are around them and uh, invite them to the mosque and show them that the mosque is actually a place of peace, a place of worship and everyone's welcome there. And another thing they should be doing is that they should allow them to listen to their sermons, listen to their addresses so that there's some sort of, so that those that are around them feel comfortable that there's no hate preaching going on. And in I think it's a difficult one. I think London's been hurt twice in the space of just two or three months. And we've seen what happened in Manchester just uh, a fortnight ago. There's um, a real sense of anxiety amongst people. We can't shy away from the fact that people are afraid. All we can do is say, look, we need to work together. And we need to work together. And there are times that we now need to start thinking about doing what we can as individuals, regardless of which community we're from, but working to ensure that any extremism can be rooted out from the outset. We're all experiencing it. Within every community, there are elements of extremism. And we need to be working together as well as individually in order to root that out because this is the sort of thing that could be organised by anyone. It's not sophisticated. It was a van being slammed into a group of people and then people going out with knives. We're not going to be able to ban knives. We can't ban things like that. What we can do is try to challenge people who we may see are becoming quite... Um, extremist minded, challenge them, but challenge them with safety and try to change the mindset of people who are carrying these attacks out. That's what we need to be doing. This report is brought to you from MT International, the UK studios in London.